Hi, Troy with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about installing uh, the Tsunami filters and filter packages. Uh, one of the things uh, that I like to mention is most air systems have their drops coming straight down off of their main header piping. On a perfect world, you're going to have for your all your air drops, you're going to have this riser pipe where the line goes up about six inches over and then comes down for the air piping and you install your filters or attach to a machine at that point and these straight legs coming down are called drip legs and that's where you want water that's in that air piping to run down to and have it removed uh, with a manual drain or optimally with some form of automatic drain so sometimes in, a, in an air system you may not have the ability to install a riser pipe and you may not even have the ability to just tee into a pipe somewhere and have a drop coming down um, and so the nice thing about the tsunami products is our all of our filter packages start out with our tsunami water separator and if you're installing just the water separator or filter package in essence uh, we replumb this riser system for you and it's built right into the tsunami water separator. So because of this technology that we have, if all we have is a drip leg coming straight down off that header pipe and you're running into where water and particulate and oils are a problem, we are going to actually be able to come right off of this fitting and, and plumb the filters right in without having to have additional piping. We just need a few extra fittings in order to do that installation. Whether it's just the water separator or some form of filter package, we're going to be able to install it and have it go, providing clean air to your application. So in this instance, what we're gonna do is very simple. We're going to get a adjustable wrench on this aluminum piping and we're going to loosen up the coupler and what that does is it's loosening up the o-ring seal so i can move this and i'll be able to remove the electronic drain now with that drain removed whether i'm installing a water separator or the filter package i always recommend putting a ball valve in line in case i ever have to service the element inside the water separator or the coalescing filter uh, on part of a two or a three stage system. So I'm gonna wanna install the ball valve. Now all I need to do is pick up a couple half inch NPT fittings at the hardware store, get my half inch ball valve, make sure I'm going in the direction of flow. Air's coming this way, I want it to go into the inlet of the water separator. Now obviously it's important to make sure that you're snugging all this up and the nice thing about some of these aluminum pipe systems is you're going to be able to um, loosen it and take it off. So you're going to install it and then normally I'm going to clip that air system and it's just going to hold that filter. If I'm concerned about the weight, Tsunami does have a universal mounting bracket uh, available. If you end up using something like that, you're probably going to uh, want to make sure you have a few additional pipe fittings because you're going to have to step away from the wall a little bit. So it has been known for some people have been able to just gently tack this up and they'll use a shorter bracket and have this pipe come closer to the wall and then they can secure the filter directly through the mounting holes in the head. And that's how you would install a Tsunami water separator filter package directly off of the drip leg.